Oh, hi there, everyone. We are back with Pokemon White, episode 34. Uh, we're actually going to switch over here and yeah, get it. Switch over there. Get on the switch. That's what we're doing. Get it. Pun. I found that funny. Fine. Whatever. We're going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon because I figure, oh, we, sh we should probably do that because that'd be a good thing to do. Since our Pokemon's be injured and we already hit the switch, so I'm assuming that it's going to work next time. If it doesn't, then i got to go through the entire damn puzzle all over again. And I'm pretty sure this gym battle is not going to be too long, because it's only going to be a bunch of Emolgos using Double Team. Yeah, it seems like it'll be a bit of a long battle. But before we go, uh, we got to heal, and before that, we're going to buy some Paralyzed Heals, because I kind of hate being paralyzed. It really sucks. I still hope, I still wish that um, Santa was a bit higher in level, but I guess we'll do, make do with what we got. So there are the Poison he Paralyzed Heals. Let's get 10 of them, because that's the only status I'm um, expecting. Now, uh, last time I checked, your Pokemon ranged from level 25 to level 27, so we're about equal in terms of level, but she only has three Pokemon. I have four-ish, five-ish Pokemon. I say five-ish because Sandow's not even fully trained. So it should be about even, though I recommend you guys are like a bit higher than my level because obviously you guys are going to see me get my ass kicked. Kind of hard. But anyways, let's go over to the Pokemon Center. Hey, wait a minute, I have my bike. Why am I not using my bike? Bike of power. Oh, so bikey, bike, 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 bicycle. Alright, so let's go off into the Pokemon Center gym thing. And hopefully the switch still works. Awesome, it still does. Okay, let's fast forward to the part where it gets over here. Any second now. There we go. Alright, so let's get into the roller coaster. And we go slide over there. I'm not sure if we have to come back here for rematches. Oh, crap. We have to go through all that again. Alright, I'm going to skip over there and get back there. And we are back, apparently. No, no, wait! Ah, darn it. Hold on. I'm not getting out of this thing till it takes me back to where I want to be. And I guess we'll be going through the loop again. And, 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 and we get out. You actually have to pe uh, tap the down button to get out of the darn thing, which is weird, but hey, whatever. So here we go. Battle with Elisa, the electric type gym leader in Nimbasa City. Did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next ones to make your head spin. There's uh, more head spinning as if I didn't feel sick enough. Alright, so here's the gym battle with Elisa. She's on the ground. Why? I, I don't really care. Alright, first Pokemon, Emolga. Uh, warning, all her Pokemon seem to know the move Volt Switch, so they're going to be switching back and forth and back and forth over and over again. Very annoying. So I'm going to go for Torment, just because I don't, don't want it to use any double teaming crap like that. It'll go for Pursuit, half damage is effective, so I'm going to switch out next turn, but... Uh, probably should have saved Pursuit for next turn. Now, with that out of the way, there's no... No, I can probably take this thing. It'll take a bit longer, but I can probably take it with a bunch of bite attacks. Oh, crap, that's... That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Yep. Aw, oh, damn it. Critical hit. Alright, so since I got flying attacks, I'm gonna go for Fluffers, because Fluffers can get the Intimidate off and lower the attack, and that way its attacks don't even do that much damage, which is great. But... I'm pretty sure he'll switch out or go for Pursuit. In the meantime, though, I'll be healing my Pokemon with Revive. That's a Paralyzed Heal. Revive. <laughs> and reviving my Sandal, because I want Sandal to get some experience from this battle. Sandal really needs it. Volt Switch. Should have seen that coming. Darn. I guess she didn't use a Volt Switch earlier, because um, Electric-type attacks don't affect ground types at all. It doesn't even work. Like, it just fails. So, it's a new manga, Emolga, but... Oh wait, I should have used Retaliate, because, uh, what's his face of, um, Sandal got knocked out. Oh, well, uh, it's gonna spam Volt Switch, so this way it'll switch and switch and switch and switch and switch ever so annoyingly. Now, if you had Stealth Rocks or something, you know, super awesome like that, that would really screw up the strategy, because she would take 25% damage each turn, so each of her squirrels would only be able to come in four times, and then they would faint. But I'm going to go for workup, and then I'm going to be healing next turns, because I don't really have any... I'm not going to say, oh, using items is, like, not cool. Because you can use items! That's why they're here! Use it to your advantage, that's why that's here. Okay, next turn I'm going to go for takedown. I'm really hoping I can finish it off in just one shot. Oh crap, Voltwitch again! Uh, I'm really grateful that Voltwitch doesn't have any chance to paralyze anybody. Otherwise, Fluffers could be, could be in for some troubles. Alright, so here we go. No, no, no. I want to go for Volt Switch. That's what I want to do. Volt... Wait, he's going for Volt... Ah, she's going for Volt Switch. I'm sorry. I mean, I wanted to go for Takedown. But, yeah, I should be able to get the next Flying Squirrel that comes in here. Now, it'd be really annoying if those Emolgos had Intimidate, but I don't find them very intimidating at all. So here we go. Full power. Aw, darn it. And Static paralyzed me. That's not good. 
Yay, we're shining brilliantly. Excuse me there. Brilliantly, which is nice. Um, I'm going to say that she's probably going to go for Volt Switch, so I'm going to switch out to Sandile. Because what are the chances she's not going to go for Volt Switch and she uses Aerial Lace on me instead? Oh, please don't use Aerial Lace. Oh, full restore, you not nice person with healing stuff. That's not cool. Oh, sad face. Um, crap, what can I do on Sandile? Not that much, actually. So I guess we'll be going back to Fluffers and getting that, uh... You know, Volt Switch is actually a special attack, so it'll be doing full power damage again. So crap, I just messed up a little bit. But Intimidate should take off a little bit of attack if it decides to go for anything that's not special. That's awesome. Aerial Ace isn't, er, isn't special, it's physical. So that's great, we took less damage. Let's go for Hyper Potion to heal up our Pokemons again. This is like the third potion I'm using. I kinda don't feel sorry. And I kinda do. Because spamming potions is kind of like, not cool. Oh no, Volt Switch, that's not going to kill me, but it, it'll switch out safely. Alright, so I'm actually going to take out, or not take out, I'm going to actually endure some of these future Volt Switches, because I want to max out my attack. Or not max it out, but at least get two more workups up, workout, workups, I think, it's workup. Two workups up, and then I'll be ready to OKO okay, oh, those little flying squirrels of cheapness. Oh, this battle shouldn't even take as long as it's taking, it's just annoying. Imolga, oh my gosh, she has two two flying squirrels, very annoying. Ah, why won't I do the thing that... Okay, so we're going to go for workup first turn, and she's going to go for vote switch again, which is very annoying. Crap, I only have 15 HP. Well, the good thing is I can heal as much as I want, because I, I bought up a lot of hyper potions earlier, which is great. Special attack and attack goes up, and I'm going to go for a Hyper Potion right here, because I'm pretty sure that'll okay on me if it hits uh, without me healing prior to being hit. Who is holding the uh, Amulet Coin? Right, Sandile. That's great. So I'll be getting double cash from this battle. Again, recommended types for this would be Rock and Ground. Uh, I guess Ice would come in handy if you just want to take out those Mulgas, but you don't really get any Ice-type Pokemon early on. But, uh, Archon would be great for this battle. The thing is, though, I'm not using Archon for this little Let's Play. I'm using Sandile. Which, uh, I was actually looking at the comments earlier. It's like, don't use Sandile. Then I was like, oh, I, I kind of feel bad about that. And then it's like, don't use the fossils, they're overused. I'm like, okay, yeah, Sandile it is. So, okay, we've got two workups out, or workout, workups, right? Yeah, workups out on the field at the moment. So, uh... I'm going to heal up right before attacking, because I get recoil on takedown, so I don't want to risk taking too much damage. So here we go. Full HP, we've set up, or we've set up, we have set up, and now we should be able to take out those flying squirrels without any trouble. Uh, it shouldn't really take this long if you have the right typing and crap. Critical hit. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Oh, these squirrels are so annoying. Question of the day. Ah, oh, what part of her team did you dislike the most? Of Elisa's team? Because I really don't like them squirrels. They're moderately adorable, but they're very annoying. Don't be a critical, don't be a critical. Oh, good job, good job. Alright, so we will uh, we'll be able to finish off the Darren squirrels with takedown this turn, hopefully. Actually, I don't want any uh, recoil on that, so I'm actually going to go for retaliate. No, no, no. Just take down. Full power. Here we go. Crap, it's Volt Switch. No. No, no. Now I'm going to take recoil, and I'll be down to red HP, which isn't even good. Which is terrible, actually. Yeah. Darn flying squirrels are annoying. Please KO. Please KO. Please KO. Yeah! Now I just take one-third of its HP. Or one-eighth of it. Alright, so Sandal got to level up. I'm hoping it evolves rather soon. Another Emolga. Can I take a Volt Switch? Probably not, so I should most likely heal up. And I'm going to crap my pants if it's going to switch out. Volt Switch out to the Zeb Strike. Zeb Striker. Or Zeb Strike. I can't say its name, I'm sorry. Not Volt Switch, not Volt Switch. Oh, crappy McCrappington. Darn it. Alright, so. It's Zeb Strike. Zeb Striker. Ah, Zeb Strike. Zeb Strike. That doesn't even make sense. There's a B next to an S. Damn it. That's annoying. Alright, whatever. We're going to go for a takedown, and hopefully it won't finish me off in one turn. 
which it possibly could. It's got a rather high attack for its, um, it's a fully evolved Pokemon too, so it's got a rather high attack. Thankfully though, it has no defense, so I was able to take it out easily. Oh no, Fluffers! Fluffers don't die! Fluffers leveled up though, so that's good. Fluffers is level 28. Only a few more levels till it's fully evolved. Next up will be Emolga, and I'll be using a Hyper Potion again. Huh. I would say Fluffers was kind of, you know, it's cheap to use Fluffers and beat the entire gym, but this is a very annoying gym. Though I'm surprised she doesn't have double team on her team, on her, uh, flying squirrels, because that'd be very annoying, and annoying seems to be what she specializes annoying seems to be what she specializes in. Okay. So if you use Volt Switch and you have nothing to switch out to, it doesn't really do anything. Besides damage. Alright, so I should be able to take this with like 3 HP left. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Good job, 9 HP left. Awesome. But the takedown is going to KO me because I take recoil damage. Oh, darn it. Fluffers, don't faint. Come on. Oh, he fainted. No experience for Fluffers. Alright, that sucks. I meant to make your head spin, but you made mine twirl instead. Uh, that's not what she said, but I just improvised because I didn't see the last part. We got some cash. Yes. Money. My, oh my. You have... You have a sweet fighting style. Thank you. I mean, you're a great dad trainer. Excuse me. I uh oh here. I want you to have this. Awesome. So we have the gym badge for Nimbasa City. We will now be getting the TM for Volt Switch. Why am I talking like this? Awesome. So now in the little sidebar, you guys should be able to see how awesome the new gym badge looks. Also, uh, remember, common question of the day is. Oh, here we got Volt Switch. Anyways, common question of the day is. What part of her team do you hate the most? I hate her flying squirrels. They took like 8 minutes of my time. Would have been done like 5 minutes ago. Anyway, with that done, she tells you to push a, push the little switch over here and go to Route 5. So, we're done with this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!